Okay, y'all, let's see how brown they have gotten. This is Amos and I am back with another video. What's up, YouTube? I'm so happy to be back on the scene with another video, y'all. Y'all, today I'm coming with y'all. I'm coming to y'all with the cooking blog. I know it's been a while. Well, it probably haven't been a while, but it's like a while to me. I want to be more and more consistent. Y'all, let me tell you what happened before I get started with this cooking blog. Okay, so we went to the pool. I got a whole swimming blog that's coming to y'all. It should be coming this week. Um, so basically what happened was y'all, I destroyed my GoPro. I destroyed my GoPro. <laughs> I destroyed my GoPro, so I gotta work on, so right now I'm recording on my iPhone. Thank God I got an iPhone. It's not on right now, but I can record on it though. But yeah, thank God I'm recording on my iPhone, guys. So that's how come y'all getting another video, but I destroyed my um GoPro in the pool. I was almost about to drown and everything, y'all. That's suspicious. I caught myself going down the slide and <laughs> I knew, listen, when you're nervous about doing something, be careful. I mean, that's your gut feeling telling you maybe you shouldn't be doing it. But I was trying to get y'all some content, but I was not trying to kill myself while doing it, okay? But anyways, I'm so happy to be back. Um, I also have another cooking blog for y'all. I'm going to see if I'm going to post that one or I'm going to do another one. But just know your girl been working. It's just... Yeah, I destroyed my camera, so I have to work on something else. And with my other um, camera, I have to get some more gadgets for that camera. But, yeah. So, um, let's get started. Today, I'm going to be cooking a rump roast. I think it's a rump roast. So, what kind of roast is it? A chuck roast. I'm going to be cooking a chuck roast. So, I'm going to show you how I cook my chuck roast. So, let's get it in. Um... Okay, guys, let's move it along. This is the seasonings for the roast. We're going to be using seasoning salt. A little bit of steak seasoning. This is like the salt, so you don't use too much of this. And it's very good flavor. We're going to use some Wickshire, garlic powder. I got some, a last little bit of beef, berbalon. Scrape up the last little bit that's in there. I got some liquid smoke, some browning seasoning sauce. I'm gonna put about two bay leaves in there and some beef broth. Okay, y'all, here go my roast right here. I already took it out the pack. I had got this roast from Audi, y'all. If y'all hear anything in the background, they are watching a movie. But, um, you know, my kids. My husband watching the movie. But I got this roast from Audi's. You can't really see the paper on there because we had it um thawing out in the sink. But yeah, it's a black Angus chuck roast from Audi's. This roast is like twenty something dollars. So yeah. Okay. I don't rinse my roast, guys. I know y'all probably see the blood. That's why I got the bag right here. Well, I have the bag for any leakage. I don't rinse off my beef, guys. I don't rinse off my hamburger meat. I don't rinse off my roast. I don't rinse off nothing when it comes to beef because I feel like you rinse it off. Well, it's not what I feel. It's what I taste, matter of fact. When you rinse it off, you don't taste the flavor like that, like it is when you keep the blood in. Now, my chicken and stuff like that, and turkey and all that white meat, I rinse that off. But my beef, I don't rinse it off. It just tastes better when you keep the blood in. Um, and maybe that just could be me, but yeah. So, let's go ahead and season this. I have me some celery. 
I have one whole onion and I have some baby carrots. I'm not gonna use all these. I also got this stuff from Aldi's. It's all going into the same pot. So it don't matter that the carrots is touching the meat. When it comes to the bag, I can rinse off that bag and put it right on in the refrigerator as far as the carrots. So let me go ahead. I'll cut this part off when it comes to my celery. I don't use that. Maybe you should use it. I don't know. Y'all comment down below. Let me know. But that's how I cook. I'll cut off the end piece. And I just cut them down so they can go in the pot with the rope. This is also flavor. I got a bowl over here. I'm going to put these in. Mix this with the carrots. That's a little stem right there. That thing, look how they cut, y'all. It really cut. I'm just going to break it down with my fingers. And move it along. When you cook it for, you know, a big family. When you cook it for a family period, you gotta, you're not really on your timing, you're on everybody's timing. So move quick, fast, but cook it with love and make sure it's all the way cooked. <laughs> I'm just gonna cut these down some, not too much, so they can fit in the pot. It's kind of hard. Cut them down some. I'm probably ain't gonna cut all of them for real, for real. I got the baby carrots because they was cheaper than the whole carrots. These baby carrots for a bag, it was 99 cent. And the whole carrots was 159. And my food stamp still haven't came through, y'all. So, y'all, please say food stamps come through. To be honest with y'all, I just got back on food stamps. It's been on food stamps for a couple of months. Cause when I was working my old job, I was me and Antonio income put together was making too much. So I went without food stamps for a couple of years. So I did. But I just been on there for a couple of months and I'm trying to work on soon. Hopefully getting back off. I 
Okay, so I cut them good enough. Have to move it along to the onions. Guys, I'm gonna go ahead and cut up this onion. Ah! Almost there. You know what? I don't really need to cut these two. It's a roast, so you kind of want your onions long, not a little. I know I might be doing this wrong, y'all. Yeah, just want them long. Don't want them too short and diced. Oh, Ooh, these onions strong. Actually, guys, purple onions got more flavor, but who went on here and got these onions since it's cheaper? <laughs> I haven't used purple onions on a roast though, but for what I'm starting to see, since I'm starting to use purple onions like for my hamburger, oh my God, y'all, look at my eyes. Ooh. You know, the trick to that, for what Tanya told me, the trick to that is to stand beside water and it'll stop your eyes from running, but I don't know. You stand beside your sink and cut your onions and let the water run and your eyes won't burn. I think that's good enough for onions. I don't want them too small. Get the little brown thing out of there. Okay, so I'm gonna leave these on the pan because I have to rinse my carrots and my celery. So I'm not gonna add them in the bowl with the carrots and celery. Okay, let's move it along. I'm now gonna season my meat. It's burning my camera person eyes, y'all. Bless her heart. Nah. Okay, y'all, so let's go on with the seasoning. First, we're gonna put on there some seasoning salt. garlic powder. I love garlic powder. I love garlic. It makes your food taste so good. And this is just one side I'm seasoning so far. So I'm going to flip it and do the other side. When it comes to my liquid seasonings, I'm going to do that while it's in the uh, pan. So right now I'm just gonna put on another dry seasoning. Remember I say not too much of this because this is the steak seasoning. Press it in that meat. Press it in there, press it in there. I ain't too much worried about the sides because all that's gonna, um, in the pan and y'all y'all gonna see how I cook it okay all right so you put that bowl over there you know what y'all I forgot about some black pepper Black pepper on there too. Like I said, when it comes to my um, bay leaves and all my liquid seasonings, I'm going to add that while it's in the pan. Right now, I'm just adding the dry seasonings. Okay, guys, I'm going to add some black pepper. And I got the bougie black pepper, y'all. I call it bougie because it got the uh, little twist top thing up there. 
But yeah, it's great value brand though. <laughs> That should be enough because my seven year old even think uh, black pepper is spicy. <laughs> that boy think everything is spicy. Okay, so we're going to flip it over. Ooh, that's a big old roast. That's a big old roast right there. We're gonna season the, the other side the same way. Season the salt. Mm -hmm. and don't worry about um, how much season. I can't even tell y'all how much season I'm putting in there. But I, it's not gonna be salty at all. I'm used to seasoning my meats. Y'all season y'all meats how y'all want to. I'm just showing you how I do mine. Just a little bit of steak seasoning. Garlic powder. I drench the meat with garlic, y'all. And this is not salt. This is just flavor. And last but not least, black pepper. Yes, sir. Sorry, I flung some on my camera person. <laughs> Sorry. Okay, guys, I have my pan already heating up. I'm gonna pour just a teeny bit. Of vegetable oil in my pan. Get ready for the roast. So I'm just gonna make sure it's all evened up. Organic roast. If it don't break my knife trying to add it, I gotta add this with my fingers. Oh my grease burn. I'ma sear it first, guys. Okay, y'all, let's see how brown they have. Mm. Now we gotta try to flip this big boy. Hey, y'all, I don't know what's going on with my audio, but right here I am browning both sides of my meat. It helped with the seasoning sinking into your meat, with the meat being hot, and it helps with my gravy. Okay, guys, I have seared the other side. Let's take a look and see how it looks. Okay, right here, y'all, I'm picking up the, the check and see is the other side brown enough for me, so I can go ahead and add in my liquid seasonings. I went ahead and picked it up with my finger because I was trying to pick it up with the knife. 
but it was just not working. I had the camera in one hand, a knife in the other hand, and yeah, I don't have no fork to pick it up, so. Okay, right now I'm about to add my liquid seasonings or liquid marinara, whatever you want to call it. My first thing I'm adding is Wickshire, Wickshire, whatever, however you pronounce that. And now I'm adding some browning liquid seasoning. Then I'm adding some liquid smoke seasoning. I'm going to add the last little bit of this beef vermilion. I'm going to use it all up. I'm going to add what I got. Let's put it on the meat. Okay, right here I'm adding the organic, better than beef vermilion. I hope I'm saying that right. It'll be just fine. So now guys, I'm about to cut up some potatoes because we're going to have some um, mashed potatoes with this roast today. And by the way, today is Saturday. I hope everybody week been good. Everybody had a successful week. Y'all just don't know. I'm so happy to be back with the video, y'all. I love doing videos, but yeah, it didn't really sink in until now that my GoPro is damaged, like it's done, demolished. Now, GoPros are waterproof far as I know, and I had a GoPro 8, but um, I think what I messed up at was when I plugged it in. Instead of just pulling all the stuff out to let it dry, like, you know, the battery and the SD card and stuff like that, I plugged it in. 
because I wanted to see my footage that I recorded. And I charged it. The red light won't come on. Um, and it won't come on. I done blow dried and everything. I'm still praying on that thing. I'm hoping that it just come on mysteriously one day. It just needs some rest because I do use it all the time, but it might be a goner. I'm just going to have to find another way to come with some videos. I know that. Let me cut up these potatoes. I'm gonna do like, we just have a video to take like six of them. You know, you know how they do it. I cut my uh, potatoes the old-fashioned way, guys. I don't have no um, potato peeler. And I'm putting my hubs in this trash can right here. I put my hubs in this trash can right here. Shout out to my daughter, Latasia. She's recording for me now. y'all so I'm, when you make your mashed potatoes basically you just break it and medium sized squares it'll help it cook uh quicker because it don't take that long for mashed potatoes to cook Don't take that long. Just for now more. It's a little small one. And I'm gonna rinse these mashed potatoes. I mean, I'm gonna rinse these potatoes off, so don't worry. Gotta clean them. Okay, guys, this is how the potatoes look after I have rinsed them. I already have my pot on. I'm going to now pour the potatoes in there. Whip some water. Yes, sir. Now, let me go and get some water. Okay, guys, I got my water. You don't need too much water. Like, I say halfway. Because you're gonna make the potatoes too watery. So make sure it's not covering up the mashed potatoes. It's like halfway. I mean, make sure it's not covering up the potatoes. If y'all can see it, 
I still got potatoes at the top. I probably got a little bit too much water in there, but we'll see. You don't need too much water. So whatever potatoes you put in there, put half the water because you don't want to make it too watery. All right, so I'm gonna let that boil. We're gonna put, I'm gonna put a half stick of butter in there. And we're gonna let that sit till they get a little soft and then we're gonna start smashing them. And guys, I'm gonna go ahead and pour out just a little teeny bit back in the bowl. Cause I don't want my, um, whoa. I don't want it to be too watery. And I like my um, mashed potatoes with chunks in it too. Okay, y'all stay tuned. Okay, so y'all see how my potatoes have cooked down. It don't take long for them to start getting soft. And then you can start breaking them down. I had to pour out a little bit more water. Like I said, I don't like my potatoes runny. I like them just right and with some chunks in it. Creamy, but some chunks too. I like the chunks. And these, these are regular brown potatoes. I also got these from Aldi too. And then some mashed potatoes. Okay, y'all. Y'all see how they done cooked now already? Out of all of them, mashed potatoes, I mean, out of all the potatoes I cut up. Look at it. Done cooked down already. So, what we're going to do is add a teeny bit of milk. Y'all following up? Just add a little teeny bit of milk. Add another half a stick of butter. Add another half a stick of butter. Add some cream cheese. Remember, that's not salt, that's just flavor. And I'm gonna add a little bit of steak seasoning, just a little bit, because this is salt. I'll give it a stir. Settles with chunks. Now, so I'm gonna go ahead and get us a taste. Mm. Good to me.
Okay, let's see how this look, y'all. I've been cooking for about an hour. Well, I had turned it, I've been cooking it on medium high, then I turned it down to medium so it can cook slow. But let's see. Whoa, let's, let's, um, y'all a little foggy. There she go. I need a spoon. Okay, y'all, I'm about to fix the plates so y'all can see how it turned out. Okay, y'all, here it go. I um, I already cut one piece, but I just want y'all to see how tender it is. I'm cutting this with one hand. Look at that. It break right on through. Look at that. One hand, y'all. All right, let me go ahead and fix these plates. <laughs> Okay. Don't that look good? Yes. Can y'all see that steam coming off there? Good old hot plate. Got the gravy, mashed potatoes, carrots, celery, and that roast, baby. Yes, sir. I'm going to let the kids take a uh, bite. All right. Okay. So you gonna give a taste test. Mm -hmm. How it tastes. For real, for real. Eight out of ten. A eight out of ten? Master tells is a nine out of ten. A nine out of ten? What about the meat? Oh, you mm -hmm. ain't taste the meat yet? Mm -hmm. Oh, mm -hmm. my bad. It's fine. Mm. Like an eight out of ten. Eight out of ten. <laughs> Must try again. Okay, Tell me what you think. Okay, it's, it's good, right? Yeah. So, the steak. The roast. The yes. Roast. I think they're like a, a nine. A nine. Mashed potatoes. Mashed potatoes. Mmm. potatoes always good. Mashed potatoes always good. Okay. Oh. The boys. You ready? Y'all ain't got no shirt. A four. One thousand out of ten. One thousand out of ten. Um. The must the potatoes. Um. Four hundred out of ten. Must try again. Mm -hmm. Ooh, it's good. It's good, AJ. All right. Like that. Okay, y'all, this video. Please don't forget to press a like button. Comment down below how you enjoyed this cooking vlog. Subscribe to the channel if you watch my videos. Cause I'm on my way to a thousand subscriber, guys. And until next time, until next video. I hope to see y'all again in the next video. Thank you for watching and peace.